Good morning. How are you all this morning? <clears throat> Yesterday, I went out to uh, Schwab's um, pipe and tobacco shop in uh, Lexington to pick up, hold on a minute. I had, um, this is my Peterson Dublin, and it had a uh, P-lip on it, uh, and I did not like this pipe with a P-lip on it at all. If you've had P-lip, you know they can be, they can be a pain in the butt, keep them out. But they did a nice wide fishtail for me. Um, the shank is a tad, well, actually they didn't do it, they send it off to a woman who does, usually does a real good job. The shank is a tad, just a touch long, so I'll trim that down. And the, uh, the lips on the fishtail, a little thick. I might clean them down a little bit, I don't know, but other than that, they did a good job on it. And of course, you know, while I was there, I, you, you pick up some tobacco, and I picked up some of their, their um, blackberry and brandy. <clears throat> and while I was there, I, they got this old whiskey barrel that's got a tub in it. And it's got a bunch of pipes that are like seconds and the ones that were not up to par to when the manufacturer made them and stuff. So they sell them at cheap prices, and they get them, and they sell them cheaper. I think they're selling like 65 bucks. It's, they're from pretty good, pretty good uh, pipe builders, handmade pipes and stuff like that. They're just, they're overweight, they're underweight, there was a crack somewhere, there's something that wasn't, something wasn't right. <clears throat> it's kind of like when you buy, it's like buying a Ferrari, uh, but Ferrari doesn't want to sell it because there's a little bit of, um, of, uh, orange peeling in the paint so they dump it it's still a Ferrari <laughs> anyway so I found a pipe that um, it, it was a pot it looked like a uh, it looked like a black cauldron so this thing's cool so I bought it and uh, the uh, the guy working there at Paul's he I mean at Schwab's he Filled. He's try try this tobacco. He filled it up with the tobacco. It's a uh, Bayou something or other. But these are all their blends, their house blends. He packed it. He packed that puppy tight too. He just reached right out there. You know, here, try this. So uh, I want him to smoke the the uh, the pot, the cauldron as I called it, because it looked like a cauldron. And it smoked really good. I really liked the tobacco. Next time I go back, I'm gonna pick some of that up. Um, but it started getting kind of wet. A bit in the mouth, but I mean, it, towards the stem, the bottom of it, I'm like, am I, am I so sloppy suddenly that I'm, that it's coming out my mouth and I didn't know what it was. There was a, um, this, this isn't it. There was a, of course, there's a slight crack right there. What it was is down here, there was a, a knot in the wood. It was bleeding through the knot and running down. I showed that to the owner. So what the hell is He said, no, here, we reached the see and found another one like it. And this was the closest one I could find like it. Um, this one, I guess it sold because it's got that. See, uh, right there. Or it's not uh, done. And this one is marked. It's marked handmade and it's... Uh, I forget the. I'll put on my glasses sometime and uh, look it up. But it smokes really well. I already loaded, I already loaded up with some with some apricot cream. Very comfortable. This one's actually a little bigger, a little heavier than the cauldron. I'm calling this one Crab Pot. <laughs> yeah, that's a very pleasant pot. And 
And I believe I will take this one with me. Take it with you. Keith, where are you going? Well, I don't know when. I got some research to do. Um, I got to find out how to do my banking. Let's see if there's any silly shit that I've got to accomplish first. And once I figured all that out, I'm going to liquidate. I'm going to take my happy little butt to the Philippines. I got thinking about it. There's a line in, um, in the movie Highlander <clears throat> when Conor McLeod was driven through by, um, by the Carrigan sword. And he's laying there dying. And the priest finishes the last rites and um, gets up and goes, oh, the men have, I must go, oh, the men have died this day. And he walks off and the girlfriend's sitting there crying and wallering and, and Angus grabs her and says, quiet woman, the last, he's Highlander, but I got the last sounds he hear should not be that of a wailing woman. Well, the way I live here, People will know I'm dead when my house really starts to stink. And I'm thinking, you know, it's not that appealing that when they come to gather you up to take you to do something with your body, it should not, it should not be half bloated covered maggots because you died and your dogs died because you weren't there to feed them or water them. Um, and uh, the house starts to stink and no one comes by to check on you. So it's like a couple of weeks or maybe a month or so before someone goes, eh, something ain't right there. So I'm thinking, the last sounds I hear that I would like to hear should be a priest giving last rites and that of a wailing woman. I'm liking that idea. So anyways, you know, I don't know when, but yeah, let's admit it. It's get it's it's not getting stupid, it is stupid here. Yeah. You know? At least that's a predominantly eighty percent Catholic country. United States is about 90% satanic goofball. Trying to figure out which, which shorts, which t-shirts, one hoodie, one denim jacket. And I think I'll be greedy and take five pipes. So I got to figure out which, which out of 150, 40, or 50 some odd pipes I, of the five I want. That can pack up. So, but this would definitely be one of them. This thing smokes nicely. I can see myself sitting on the beach, drinking my coffee. Hopefully, Bustello. Enjoying the morning. Or out on the balcony or whatever. And I won't, I won't be alone because I'm not a, a citizen. I'll be renting. But rent there's cheap as dirt. And uh, I should be able to live there far more comfortably. So that's my game plan. I'll keep you all a... a a prize of the situation as I, as I go along, if you're interested. If you're not, let me know, I'll, you know. But, uh, that's all I got. That's all I got to say about that.
Y'all have a good one. We'll see you in a bit. Take care. Bye-bye.